You'll have to have some type of about uh, two puzzles right now. Oh, nice. Hey, 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 that's a good way to talk about it. It seems like everyone's doing puzzles these days, man. Oh, nice. So what, what is what is that puzzle? What are we aiming towards? That was Pokemon. Pokemon one. And then we got a uh, like a Tokyo Ghoul and uh, Parasite. Parasite combo one. Oh, very and nice. Then we got, yeah. Sonic uh, versus Shinichi. Is this part of the interview or not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this will throw in before the interview starts. Why not? We'll just chuck it. Show off the Pokemon puzzles, man. A bit of friendly riffraff, a little banter. Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound. It is the latest of our video calls. We are chatting to everybody while we're all kind of stuck at home at the minute. I'm delighted to say we've got Chase Atlantic on the line. How are you, lads? You! We're good. We're very, very good. We woke up about 20 minutes ago. A little <laughs> hate still in the eyes, but um, very excited. Today's a good day. We just announced the the release of our album. So yeah, absolutely. Very excited. Yeah, man. It's yeah, no, literally just at the time of recording. It's you know probably about an hour ago that all kind of kicked it again. We'll talk on all of that before we do. Started all these off in kind of the same way just to say you know I hope you and your loved ones you're all keeping safe, keeping well throughout all this madness. Um, and just generally, how has these last few months kind of been for you guys man i guess you know you've been used to being on the road pretty hard these last couple of years it's got to be pretty weird suddenly being in one place right yeah i mean the, the, the whole the whole year itself has been one big one big journey i feel like we've we potentially aged like 50 yeah. years in one year um a lot of ups a lot of downs a lot of challenges obviously for everyone to be fair the tour does age quicker yeah physically. oh physically it takes its toll this is but, a um, mental, this is mental age <laughs> yeah but the, i think the best part about it is that like we've always been good friends like we've always been like bro we've always been living in each other's pockets so it was cool to kind of like have a real house that that we could really be in and work in and and be together with without it being too stressful too enclosed like we got very fortunate to have uh, like a studio in each room so we can keep producing like separately and it, it's been very good because we all kind of respect each other's space and we don't yeah it's not too invasive it's we worked out this perfect feng shui so the yeah. point where it's like it's it, it worked out really nicely for us i know some people weren't as fortunate but we, we did have quite a, a experience of the year yeah it's also not like during <clears throat> recording processes this is just what we go through anyway we all hunker down and in a room or whatever for a period of time so yeah it hasn't been super super different hasn't been that different yeah it's, it's more of just been like an ideal year in in my head but then theoretically played out it didn't it wasn't as cool because there was a pandemic yeah still is <laughs> yeah i mean i mean it's what so many bands have had to do isn't it just find ways to make it work take on that challenge and like you say you know the fact that you guys were almost almost set up really for that kind of working process of actually yeah. living together yeah. and making it work that way we're very very fortunate i know um there's a lot of there's a lot there's definitely a lot of artists that are, are struggling at the moment so like our, our hearts go out to them and and um yeah we, we were just very fortunate it, it was just it was it was just big struggle. and i will i will say that uh america is pretty crazy right now but uh luckily for us all of our family is pretty much safe oh, yeah, they're all safe in australia home, yeah that's good to know, man. No, no, that's they're good. Like Something to love over there, man. I'm pretty sure nightclubs are back open and festivals are going on. It's definitely in New Zealand. They got the yeah. big outdoor festivals. Yeah, like, yeah. No more. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, man. Hopefully we'll get there. Eventually, eventually we'll all get back eventually, to that, man. Eventually, yeah. Fingers yeah, crossed, man. We'll hold out hope. Well, let's dive into it, man, because obviously you've been working on this record, which, like we say, was just announced as we're recording this. It's called Beauty and Death. Uh, I want to talk mainly about the title to start with because i always love asking this question of where titles come from and all that kind of thing i know it's obviously referenced on the record itself on one of the tracks but the fact is that's such an evocative statement and i love a good evocative statement for an album title man why did you guys decide on beauty and teth to sum up the the whole record by that um i think i think um it, it's evocative but at the same time it is it, it has a lot of truth to it you know what i mean i feel like um uh death is a very even to this day, it's a very, a very strong subject and it's a very impactful subject that uh, everyone really has to deal with in their life. You know what I mean? Like everyone kind of has to deal with at some point in their life, they're going to have to deal with grief and, uh, and mourning. But um, what, what we've kind of come to realize through like, like seeing different people's relationships that we know and have dealt with this stuff and, and personally ourselves um you it, it kind of brings people together you know what i mean it's, it's quite beautiful in a way it has it has death has a tendency to make things a little more beautiful 
if if you catch my drift, you yeah. know what I mean? Except it is sad if you together for a funeral and yeah. oh it's it's <laughs> very sad but there's a, there's a there's some kind of beauty in it it's like it's yeah. like when a flower dies you know what i mean like the juxtaposition of the beauty and death yeah. and then also like this whole year has been about like really facing mortality like people who never really had to go through this before it's been put right in front of our faces every day on the news and it's just about you know finding a, a, the more beautiful side and using that as a juxtaposition so i think it was a really really cool strong statement yeah, I mean, it's a unifying thing, isn't it? What's that old phrase? It's like death and taxes. That's the only thing that every yeah, single person has to deal with, right? It's, it is a unifying yeah, thing, even in sadness. Yeah. The beautiful part about death is that you know more taxes. There's no more about taxes. No That's taxes. how it works. Beautiful. The one upside at the end of the day. Yeah. That's how you get it. Um, well, we mentioned already, yeah, you guys have been living together recording this. So let's talk a little bit more about that because... You alluded to it there, separate rooms, almost like three studio setups, right? Yeah. Or maybe more than that in the house. How does it practically work? Oh, no. Yeah, we got four studios. Five, oh, wow. five, yeah, five yeah. Five rooms. One of them's a, a picture and video studio, so it's not allowed. It's a picture studio. <laughs> We're like, we from the 1960s. <laughs> motion picture. Maybe for like old films. Yeah, a little dark room. Get your photos uh, reproduced yeah, in the back. It's, it's a dark room, actually. It has no windows, so when you close the door, it's it's like that yeah yeah it works yeah. well then so how does it work practically then are you guys just all working on separate ideas or do you take off parts of the same idea how does it come together we nailed it already. yeah that's it separate ideas and then we kind of just like bring bring them together them together in cool. any way we can like kind of find different formulas and it'll just be someone walks past a room or something's like hey that's really cool that's can i do something and then it just comes together we all come together at the end for the like for the vocal recording and the actual like songwriting when Mitchell starts coming up with ideas. Yeah, does it feel very similar to the last session? Because I know you guys, you know, we've talked about this a lot before, but you you guys always seem like you're looking forward and wanting to try new things. We can definitely hear it on the record already. It's definitely evolving that style, even though it sounds very much like you guys. What were the points where you were looking at what you achieved with phases and what you achieved last time and going, okay, we need to better that. We want to try something new here. We want to push, what were the ideas? Um, we, I feel like the whole, the whole time, um, after we made phases, we, we made it in about three months in, in a studio. Um, there was no real, I guess we have this tendency to never look back, if, if you know what I mean. Um, um, I listened to phases, I think like a month ago and that's like the first time I listened to the album yeah. since like it can't, since it, besides playing the shows, that was like the first time I listened to it as an album with, while being able to appreciate it. So I think um, we weren't kind of trying to one up phases necessarily. We just were on to the next phase at that point. Mm. Wordplay. Pun intended. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> I think um, what's the time frame? You know, it's a bit longer to think about it. And uh, I think with phases too, there was no theme going into it. It was just once I heard like a lot of like, the instrumentals they were doing, I was like, I don't know, it's like space, I think. And they're like, it's still space to me. And it turned out to be kind of cool, kind of weird, kind of cool. <laughs> it was the first kind of like conceptual one once we kind of went into it. Yeah. yeah. Versus with this one, we, we, just, did, we, did thing. we just wanted to make a good record with each song being just like being able to carry a thing on its own, like be almost single worthy or whatever. We didn't want it. We wanted, obviously, they flow together naturally, but not actually going into them with the idea of just writing good songs each time you want to go write a song. I think that's what helps it flow naturally as well. It's yeah. just the... It was the uh, what's the word? What's the word? What's, what's the word? The word? <laughs> uh, it was the oh, I'm losing my vocabulary. I blame sleepiness. You ran out of words. You, you wrote too he many. wrote too many, and now he's done. Um, yeah. It was the casualness of it all that kind of made it flow. It was the it was the non expectation of it having to sit somewhere yeah. in a certain place. Yeah, exactly. Not not trying to do it for anybody else, but just yeah. to make good songs. I will yeah. say that. Um, the overall sound sonically is very tied together. Yeah, of course. Our production's gotten better. Our production's <clears throat> gotten like m much better. Um, every year we just keep growing, and uh, the songwriting is becoming a little, a little more improvised, which is cool in a way because it's a little more raw, and a little more, um, a little more of insight into our lives, a little more personal as well, um, less personal but trying to convey it rather than just actually just we're finding our true selves like now with this third album but particularly on the visuals with something like the out the roof video which i know you talk a little bit about in the mag and it was you know you guys very much at the front of that in terms of the creative direction with it i get little touches of light 
hype williams's stuff from the 90s you know that kind yeah. of like that that kind of vibe in there there's definitely an aesthetic you're playing with on this time right it's very run and gun that street mm. actually it was like that was four that was four hours of shooting like four hours of shooting in the wow. desert with a friend we almost missed the sun like we we yeah. woke up a little late was, we, we started going there at like one o'clock yeah yeah and, and then a couple hours away. yeah this is before the sun started going down at four o'clock so yeah. we had like an extra couple of hours and then we just shot it and then um naveed our day to day uh was like i don't know if we're gonna get a music video out of this. Like, yeah. what the hell are you guys doing? he's like what are you guys doing and then um we showed him the final product and he was like damn. damn i just made a bunch of crazy effects and it kind of looks cool but oh, when does this interview come out this will be monday we are on we are on wednesday now so it'll be on monday Beautiful. well it's already out um the slide editing video oh cool also it was really hard to do because of covid um yeah that, that uh, was we had to pay an extra five thousand just to have on-site testing for the uh, all the cool yeah. stuff like that. Mandatory though, it, it it helped peace of mind. And yeah. if you want to get something done, you have to do it properly. And yeah. It, but but that being said, we also left the last minute as well because of the pandemic, and we had like one day to shoot it. Uh, it's hard to find a location, and I think we had two or three days to edit it. So. Yeah. Yeah, we've been we've been pretty much nonstop for the last the last couple of days. Um, but it's all coming together now. Like we're we're just excited to have the have the album come out. Yeah, as you should be, man. Sorry, my personal favorite track probably is Slide in the album. Nice. What's yours? I kind of like Slide. I, I Wait, think I'll we'll release the album. Wait, some of the... Yeah, we can say some of the songs. Be less. I, I, some of that yeah. I think I've lost again too. So yeah, yeah that's, some great that's tracks. Pretty... It's yeah. like more old. Like yeah, yeah. Just... Nostalgia I have no idea. Land. I can't pick. It's like a little float. Mitchell like floats on top of that one. Well, it's a nice mix, and, and I'm glad you're picking up on specific tracks because one thing I did want to mention was the collabs on there, particularly with Dwayne, who's a guy. I mean, I know you've worked with him before, but just such an incredible talent and doing so much cool stuff for the minute. Talk to me about yeah. actually working with him. Um, he's he, he's been like our, 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 our day one. Like, um, we did a tour with him in 2008. 2017? 2018 or 17? Uh, it was 17. 2017, wow. yeah, we brought him out in our first ever headline tour. We were playing like uh, 300, 400 rooms. Max. 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 That Max. was like the good show. That Chicago one was like our biggest show. Yeah. And like um, we brought Dwayne out with us just as um, just as our opener. And um, we were on a bandwagon. It was very, it was very like Tight nitty quarters. gritty. Um, just classic like first headline tour you're doing everything yourself you pack everything up yourself like you're loading like no no fancy nothing fancy about it but except my dumbass is like we need to get a, a small video wall so every day we set that oh up. yeah, yeah. We have the luxury. that's fine that's that doesn't matter worth it I mean, that was our second day. tour we had it yeah not even the first one wow but um w working with Dwayne is so easy because we, oh, we already have such a great <laughs> we already have such a great friendship like yeah. we like we he he's our goat like if we're gonna have a party or something, we don't have parties. I don't know what we're talking about. If we're gonna have a little get together, you know what I mean? He's a, a little, he's a little first, get together. He's, first he's the first person on the list, you know what I mean? And then um Sony as well, Xavier Main, Sony. Uh I actually grew up uh in, in Cairns, uh with he lived like a, a few doors down. Mm -hmm. And um, so we went to high school together. Um, fun fact, well, we were in a band and then he the band kicked me out of the band, replaced the singer with Sony. Oh, wow. The little kids. And so I should have hated the guy, but um, I, I love him more than anything. Yeah, he became a brother to all of us. Though. Yeah. He's the only one else in Cairns that was doing anything <clears throat> to do with music that was that was inspiring. So Yeah. yeah. And the speech, as far as speeches go, I think, you know, we, we, we could have reached out to maybe other artists that like wanted to be involved, but we no, have, one, no one came forward really. So we just like, we, we just work with people that we really love and trust. Yeah. The yeah. thing is, it, if, if if we're going to do collaborations, it has to be authentic. It has to be with people yeah. that like really are down with, yeah, with what's going on. We don't want to do the whole like pay a random yeah. person we don't know. There's no love in it. There's no yeah. like. There's no any and there's no camaraderie to it either. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of like might a, pay Justin Bieber. Yeah, maybe Justin Bieber. <laughs> if you're hearing this, Justin Bieber, we will pay. Maybe like, you know he loves to. He's, he's an avid fan of our work. He, yeah. He's always he's always yeah. messaging Rock Sound like, man, who you got coming up next? I want to get working with them. So you're in luck. Then <laughs> next interview, I'm I'm stinging for it. <laughs> <laughs> he's always that's that was a great Bieber by the way. It's a great impression, right? <laughs> oh, when's the next interview, bro? I'm stinging for it. <laughs> <laughs> it is something he would say. He's just saying I'm stinging for it. 
chomping at the bit. Who's that? <laughs> Justin Bieber. Oh, <laughs> Justin it. Bieber. That's the that title of his next album, Chomping at the Bit. It's coming soon. That's what I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> chomping at the bit. Chomping at the bit. And yeah. then <laughs> putting on the rates. <laughs> Let's mention the fact as well, you know, since the last time we saw you guys, you're signed to Fearless now, which is very, very exciting. I mean, what a great kind of roster that is and such a kind of cool label, obviously, you know, long time scene favorite and then definitely all your contemporaries you're out on Warp Tour with and everything. I'm sure you've known about those guys for a long time. But yeah, how did that kind of end up happening in the end? <laughs> I think it was just um, just a natural process, obviously, like you said, with the Warp Tour contemporaries. And having Joe and Benji be our managers, they've obviously had a few people go with Fearless before. They were the first ones to kind of approach us and be like, we're they gonna were, let yeah. you do what you guys, like we don't wanna, cause you know, we've gone to places before and usually we've actually been quite lucky. We haven't- yeah. We've had full, pretty much full credit. We've never really been told, yeah, like beginning. you needed what to do. So it was nice to just have them approach us and be like, we like you for you guys. We want you to be yourself and we're not gonna do too much to change that we just really believe in you and yeah. um yeah they've been they've been great very supportive and they give us a lot of creative freedom um i know one of the uh the a and r's rigo he uh he was there every night with me when we were going through the mixing, mixing yeah yeah they're very hands-on they're very very hands-on <clears throat> but that's the i guess that's the benefits of not being a, a, a major label you know what i mean that they can actually get involved and invested in the artists and 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 that's important to us because we we want to have control of the situation we want to mm -hmm. have control over what decisions we're allowed to make yeah um, it's nice to just have like be on a chat with someone from the label yeah, which so we haven't really had before it was a very it's, it was a very kind of easy decision to make and and they were very uh they were very uh professional about it and and they were very uh, generous with with, with how they're going to work with us. So let's talk about what's coming next, man, because this has been the mad thing. Whenever I've chatted to bands over the last few months like this over Zoom, they've all been stuck at home, obviously, no touring. And even people who are preparing to drop a record that's just coming up are already thinking about what's next. I know how hard you guys work. I know how far you think ahead. Presumably, you've done the same, right? Are you already thinking about what musically is going to come after this next one? Yeah, well, we've already made like a lot it's of just, instrumentals for the next project. Just continuously right. making music. We don't, we're not like, okay, we're going to start making a record now. It's just yeah. like over time, it's make not, a bunch yeah. of instrumentals and then you collect a few of them. And then from there, as the process goes, you make more instrumentals during the process. Yeah. So just, I guess you can tell what it's like. It's not like, I watched this Beatles documentary the other night and they were just, they would all come into the studio together after not seeing each other in a couple months. Yeah. They're like, hello, mate. Oh, yeah. how you been, man? Oh, hey, man. Oh, yeah. how you been? And then they're, they're like, like one, two, and they're, trying, and they're trying to explain past each other. It's like, oh, that looks really stressful. There's also in a time where like- They're like, it's not sounding as good as the last album. <laughs> it's, not, it's like, it's like um, how Queen as well. It's like they'd go in a room, separate rooms and write songs. And then it's like- you present hand it, song. you need like a presentation. Yeah. Like, this is what I'm thinking. This is why I believe you're on a, that uh, we should play so my, my little red car. Yeah, I've been about doing something about how much I love my car. Uh, it just seems like, and then obviously when they got back together, they were like equal splits. What? Your fucking car. <laughs> you are so my fucking car. <sighs> <laughs> so the point is you got some music anyway. <laughs> yeah, we got heaps. We got heaps of music. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We actually but the, because it's in the same realm, I think. What is this? Been... What 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 is this realm? What what do you mean realm? I don't know. That's what you said. I didn't echo it. I didn't. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> um I don't get the context of that. Echo. Yeah, why I don't know what I'm doing. I, I didn't sleep for two days yesterday, just preparing for like the drop and stuff like that. Been a been a stressful couple of days for yeah. Kenneth. But and time my, time doesn't mean anything in 2021. It's fine. You sleep when you want. It's all good. Pretty crazy last night. I don't know about that. Oh, no. It's <laughs> 2021 20, yeah, it is 2021. It was like 2020 still. Um, there might be deluxe. Who knows? Yeah. Ah, exciting. Uh, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Air quotes, you know. If it doesn't happen, <laughs> I'm in so much trouble. Ah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe a deluxe. Who knows? You're not in trouble. It's all good. <laughs> We'll see what happens, man. We'll, we'll see what happens. The thing is, we'll always have music. We'll always have music to release. We just, but just because we make a lot of music doesn't mean that we we release all of it. Like we, mm. the songs that are coming out are the best ones, hands down. Like it, it's a it's a fine process of of, of slowly working your way through be the some... instrumental, the lyrics, the the writing, and just slowly blending it all together. Otherwise, we just have a bunch of music that's like mediocre. We want mm. to have a. a a nice little compact amount of music that's all very impactful. 
But I yeah. will say, usually, usually when it comes to the process, usually when we're all together in there and you're in the booth and we're coming up with ideas, it always, it pretty much always works out. Yeah, it's without pretty, trying like, to sound arrogant, it's pretty much always. Does. Yeah, no, our luck's gonna run out one day, but yeah. I'm glad it's not run out yet, boys. That's all better. good. Yeah. Third album, third album. Christian's 23 years old. Couldn't couldn't ask for anything better. I'm 22. He's 22. <laughs> no, I'm actually 40. It's fine. <laughs> um, I think sonically and like progressively, I'm hoping people will be able to catch on to it because they will. It. I'm think like everyone's moving fast now, but like our songs from 2017 are becoming bigger now. And we're like, oh god, it's gonna yeah. take a while. Yeah. I think that's sure. always. It's always gonna be. Like, like we say, case. time time is an illusion right now, man. It's all good. Like they'll they'll all catch up to it at some point, man. It floats together well. And you know, best of luck with the album, guys. You know, it's imminent. And of course, you're back on the cover of Rock Sound as well, which we're always excited about, guys. Going to yeah. read about the making of this record, man. Um, and in the meantime, just stay safe out there, boys. And we'll see you in the UK when that is allowed. Hopefully sooner rather yeah. than later. Hopefully we play a real good show at O2 again. Yeah, we're, man, absolutely. Be exciting, man. What a venue. What a show it will be, man. Right. Good to see you boys and we'll chat to you all soon. Right. All right. Thank, Thank you so right. much. Good to see you. Pleasure. Take care. All right. Chase Lights, everybody.